Good morning everyone, or good evening, or good night, or whatever time you're watching this video. Damn, I haven't done that intro in so long. Let's talk about healing your feminine energy. Let's talk about being feminine. Let's talk about being a high value woman. One of my favorite topics to talk about. Since I have a lot of growing teenagers watching my videos and older, I feel like this video could help a lot of you guys out there. So. Here we go. Here are a couple of things I learned over the year. I learned all of these things the hard way. So I'm here to spill the tea so that y'all won't go through what I went through and y'all will not have to learn it the hard way, but here I am spilling everything to you guys. So all you have to do is get a paper and a pencil and note everything down and read it all over again and be the woman you're supposed to be. Be a high value woman because it's 2023, baby. Let's get into our feminine energy. Let's be high value women. So let's get into it. So number one of being a high value woman is knowing your value and valuing yourself. Now there's a big difference between knowing your value and valuing yourself because I've seen so many women, valuable women who don't value themselves. So the key to this is to actually value yourself not put yourself in a situation where you're not valued you get what I mean if you're in a relationship where you're not being valued get yourself out of the equation if you're in a friendship you're not being valued get yourself out of that situation any situation this doesn't have to be all about relationships any kind of situation if you feel like you are not being valued you are not being appreciated your value is just being ignored get yourself out of the equation get yourself out of the situation now when I say value yourself I also mean by stop getting yourself into relationship with clowns stop getting into relationships with low-value men stop getting into friendships or friend groups who don't value themselves stop getting yourself into any kind of situation where you feel like you are not being valued or your time is not being considered or things like that so remember to value yourself because if you don't value yourself nobody else will so know your value and value yourself and that is when others will start valuing you number two take care of yourself now when i say take care of yourself i mean physically mentally and financially now when i say physically take care of yourself i mean go to the gym meditate do good things for your body eat healthy because you value your body you understand how much your body is going through just to keep you alive and exercise so that you're fit and healthy and when i say take care of yourself mentally do not put yourself in situations where your mind will be crazy for a couple of days. Do not put yourself in stressful situations. Do not put yourself in sad situations. Do not put yourself... Always protect your peace. Do not put yourself in a situation where your peace is not protected, where your peace is ruined. So take care of yourself mentally. That is really important. Meditate, journal, script, talk to a friend, go to therapy, heal your feminine energy, heal your traumas. So protect yourself. So that is what I mean by taking care of yourself mentally. Now, taking care of yourself financially. Now, this is really important. Ever since this high value woman trend has started, ever since the soft feminine energy thing started, a lot of influencers have been promoting this Oh, you need to depend on a man when it comes to financially absolutely not be financially stable enough that you don't need a man you need to be self-sufficient you need to take care of yourself financially so the only thing anyone could offer you for example in a relationship the only thing a man could offer you is loyalty respect you're not depending on him you're not depending on anyone because that man knows that you are good on your own you are financially stable you're mentally stable and you're physically doing just fine so take care of yourself meditate go for walks protect your peace be beautiful get your hair done get your nails done like i said go to therapy therapy is not a bad thing there are so many things that we all go through in life that we don't heal and then we pass it on to our kids and our grandkids generational trauma so you could stop that trauma from you by going to therapy. Do it for your future kids. Number three, protect your sexual energy. Now, this is something I wanna talk about. Now, if you're a teenager watching this, or if you're already older, and you're probably thinking this is too late to do because you already messed up a little bit. Not messed up, but you already did things that you already regret. 
But let me tell you, it's not too late to change. Now, a lot of people don't believe in this, but when you sleep with someone or when you have a connection with someone, that connection stays in your life for the rest of your life. And that is just so true. That is why I always advise a lot of people, like, don't sleep around. Don't kiss around. Don't be available to every person. When it comes to relationships, don't get into relationships like every two, three months. Don't be dateable. You get what I mean? So you need to protect your sexual energy. And I'm sorry if there are kids watching this, but this is something you need to hear from a young age because a lot of kids are doing this very early, but you need to protect your sexual energy. You need to be an untouchable woman, not for your future man. No, for yourself. You value yourself enough to not have all of these hands all over your body. Not half of the willis should not be inside you. And I'm just saying that. But this is just my opinion though. Before I get cancelled. It's just the beginning of 2023. But this is just how I feel. I feel like you need to value yourself enough. Because psychologically, I have read that when you always feel the need to be in a relationship. Or when you feel the need to always sleep with somebody. Or you feel the need to always be... Uh, shown love or you need attention that is because of your own insecurities so that is why it's really important to be confident and heal those insecurities heal those traumas and be on your own so that you don't need anyone and if you're growing up let me tell you do not sleep around with people do not get into relationships with every single person who shows you affection or every single guy who's good like there could be a lot of good guys who come into your life but that does not mean you have to date them because eventually you will fall out of it now i'm getting off topic a little bit but so protect your sexual energy and don't just give it to anyone because you're special okay you are the prize so don't just give it to anyone don't let anyone touch you don't give a man the opportunity to be like oh yeah I did that with her. I did this with her. Uh-uh. Don't do that. You get what I mean, right? Maybe I'm not putting this the right way, but y'all understand what I mean by this. I am not judging anyone for having a higher body count. I am not judging anybody. I'm just saying to protect your sexual energy because that kind of stuff really does damage your feminine energy. Like one night stands. Do not have one night stands. Absolutely not. Only do affectionate things, only do intimate things with the person that you are in love with. Do not do one night stands. That is not for high value women because if you value yourself, you will not let a man use you and throw you the next day. So don't do that. Number four, be the price. This is very similar to what I said earlier. So being the price means I'm not telling you to go be overconfident and be like, oh yeah, walk into a room and be like, oh my goodness, I am the price. So if you want to be my friend, you got to work hard for it. If you want to be my man you gotta work hard for it absolutely not that is not what i mean when i say be the price i mean in your head you know that you're the price so you better act that way if you're going around being crazy you're not the price the price is valuable so you need to be valuable if you're looking to attract a high value man you need to be a high value woman so if you want the price you gotta be the price as well so you get what i mean so when i say you are the prize. I actually mean it. In your head, you need to believe that you are the prize. And you need to actually behave like you are the prize, but not be cocky. There's a difference between being confident and being a self-centered and an overconfident little bitch. Just putting it out there, just so you know. And the last one is knowing your purpose in life. A high value woman knows her goals, knows what's right and what's wrong. A high value woman knows what she wants to do with her life, knows her future plans. She knows everything. So if you want to be a high value woman, you need to know all of those things. You need to know what you want to do with your life. You need to plan out your dream life. What, what do you see in 10 years? What do you see in 15 years? Are you in a countryside house? Are you in a street life house? Are you in New York City? Or are you in a farm? Whatever your dream life is. You want to be a CEO or you want to be a mother to three kids? That's up to you. A high value woman knows what she wants and she gets it. And a high value woman sees an opportunity and she gets it. A high value woman does not chase anybody except her dreams so you need to know the purpose your purpose in life you need to know your purpose in life you need to have a plan for your life now even if you're a child even if you're a kid if you want to be a doctor that means you have to be getting good grades in high school if you are in college you, you know that you need to do extracurricular activities you need to get good grades you need to work hard so that you can get your master's degree 
whatever the case is you need to have a plan in your life what are you going to do in five years what are you going to do in 10 years and you need to have a vision for whatever in life whether it's your career it's your family it's your dream man what do you see in your dream man what are you looking for in a dream man a man who's older than you who is more wiser than you a man who does not live with his mom a man who is financially stable a man who has gone through all of his traumas and has healed from it a man who has no drama in his life a man who is not toxic a man who is smart and is emotionally intelligent all of those things what do you see in those things so you need to come clear in your head like career wise relationship what kind of friends do you need in your life what kind of friends are you looking for like-minded friends friends who have the same goal friends who knows how to balance life so that's what high value women do so that is basically what i wanted to say now being a high value woman does not mean you don't go out partying or you don't get into bad situations here's the thing in life you cannot control anything okay but what you can control is how you react to situations and how you look at it now something i really learned in 2022 is to just not react quickly but to be calm and understand the situation and look at any bad situation in a positive way and i've said this a lot of times in my youtube channel it is really important your mindset is really important you need to control your emotions once you control your mindset and your emotions you are literally unstoppable because the minute you control your emotions no one can get to you the minute you control your mindset no bad situation in life can get to you so keep that in mind and write everything down watch this video every single morning if you have to until you become a high value woman or a high value girl and that is just it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you would like more advice video please let me know in the comment section down below i would love to make them for you guys and yeah that is it for this video and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye